Hello, this is Eric Smith, the CEO of BHC, and today I have a special privilege. Uh, over the last number of years, uh, we've been able to work with the Fire Equipment Manufacturers Association and specifically with the Government Relationship Committee, which is really being funded by uh, Buckeye and Amrax and Brooks Equipment. And through those relationships, we, we've had a long-term uh, partnership with RASCI Partners. And with me today is uh, Bethany Bassett, who uh, is a rock star and has really helped the market and, and everyone we brought to you in this series have basically stayed behind the scenes. And I just want you to know that you got the best of the best and Bethany agreed to jump on a quick video with us to tell us uh, what's been going on in the last couple of weeks. Uh, Bethany, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for the compliment, Eric. It's great to see you. Good to see you too. How, uh, um, I know you've been busy the last week. Can you kind of give us a, an update on what you're seeing out there and, and, and how we can help? Absolutely. So um, I'll give a quick background on what we've been working on overall on the government relations side for uh, Brooks and FEMA. Our big push of late has been getting the reversal of a unified facilities criteria that indicated that Department of Defense military installations did not need fire extinguishers where there was a sprinkler system. This is obviously a no-brainer. Uh, it's taken us, because nothing moves quickly in the federal government, a few fits and starts, but at the beginning of this year, the president signed into law a bill that tells the Department of Defense that they must install extinguishers on all installations. So in the last couple of weeks, we've been working with Congress to make sure that that implementation is complete in short order. Given everything going on with the COVID situation, it's a little bit on the back burner right now, which we of course understand, but we are being told that it's moving in the right direction and that criteria should be updated pretty quickly here. Um, no one really knows the exact timeline of COVID of course, but that's, that's where it's at for the moment. Additionally, of late, we've been tracking very carefully the stimulus bills coming out of Congress. Congress did the bills thus far in three phases. Phase one was really to help Health and Human Services. Phase two was to help around the country for food banks and getting access to necessary services. Phase three was a massive stimulus. And we've been able to share regularly with the FEMA group how that stimulus impacts all businesses across the country, but particularly small and medium-sized businesses. And we're here to help with anyone that's affiliated with FEMA on how you could apply those benefits to your company during these really trying times. There will be another phase four and phase five coming out of Congress, and we'll be continuing to track that and sharing the provisions with FEMA. Y'all have been absolutely fantastic. We're trying to deliver the information uh, that we receive from you and, and your team. To the marketplace. Um, I know over the last little while we've been asked from time to time to make calls or send letters to representatives. Uh, can you explain uh, why we need to do that and, and how our uh, distributors out there can help you uh, get the results that, that we all need? Certainly. Thanks for bringing that part up. Those calls and letters from distributors and across the board, I cannot stress enough how helpful they were. What we were doing was having companies and individuals call into their congressional representation for where they live, work, represent all of it. And that's pretty much that grassroots effort is what got us across the finish line with getting that law passed. Members of Congress often need to hear from people in their backyard, the people that vote them in, the people that they represent. And that push helped significantly. And we're just so, so grateful that we know it may have been a tedious process. There were lots of talking points that were sent around, but we're so grateful and it, it worked exceptionally well. So thank you. Thank you, Bethany. And thank you to your team and uh, look forward to doing some more work together and good work at that. So again, thank you. Stay safe and God bless. Absolutely. Thanks for the opportunity, Eric. Take care.